welcome, winners, once again to the Wrong Button Podcast, where we talk all things nerd, most oh, things shit. video games. I thought games. we were doing that, yeah. Yeah, so we're, <laughs> we're we're doing the podcast. that first. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> welcome, Nick. And I'm here, too, apparently. <laughs> you are here. Welcome to our first ever annual, uh, it's a two-part podcast for the month of December, uh, mm. your review. Um, I started this with Mrs. Play just because we had a, a huge year. Um, you've had a big year. You've had a huge year on your own, right? Yeah. So I was like, hey, let's sit around and kind of talk about what we did like overall within the year channel otherwise whatever else like comes to our mind cool. and do a freeform podcast man <laughs> i wish i had a bongo drum for that part like, it's a, a good one um so no shit funny story uh <laughs> everyone knows I, I was an english major my second time i have a victorian era british literature degree um and it, when you go for your bachelor's, you, you have to broaden it. You can't mm -hmm. just be. So my focus was more on Victorian era, uh, but I still okay, took okay. everything. Um, and I had to take I had to take creative writing classes. Um, I'm not a creative writer, mm -hmm. but when people go, oh, what are you going to do with that? Work in a work in a coffee shop. Yeah, I met those people. I, I met the people mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, mm -hmm. you're why everyone makes fun of me. Okay, I yeah, get why I people. It, yeah. I get why people want to beat you up. <laughs> yeah. So, a long story short, I sat in a class where a guy did a he wanted he wanted to do it in an ironically unironic way, and I was oh, like, "Wonderful." Uh, I was like, "It's like me when I go." Well, I'm just gonna go to sleep. <laughs> uh, uh, that's so fetch. Desk. Yeah. yeah. And I'm just and it's like you you after a while it stops becoming like I'm saying it ironically. Yeah, no, you're not. Uh, yeah. So yeah, um, I sent you uh, a Christmas movie yesterday on. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I started rewatching DBZ Abridged. I thought about doing that the other day too. I had like a couple hours free, but I ended up doing chores or some shit. I mean, chores are responsible. Yeah. <laughs> you also own a house, so that's true. Uh, you have a house and a and a, a, a princely boy. Yeah, uh, boy. So yeah, boy. um. But yeah, welcome to the podcast. It's been a minute since you and I have done one. That's true. Yeah. I um, think the last time I did one was when we talked about Battlefield. Yeah. It, by the way, it's a great game. Mm -hmm. I play oh, it, yeah, you like it? I play it every night for probably about two hours. Hmm. Um, have you just gotten into the... Is there a campaign or is it just multiplayer? It is. It has a bot mode. Hmm. Um, so it's kind of like Battlefield 1942's campaign where it had uh, a campaign. Oh, yeah. Where it's just like bots. played a few maps in order or whatever. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's... Like it has characters, things like that. They tried to do uh, all that fun stuff, but it was, um, yeah, it, it came out. It had it had it has some hiccups. It, mm -hmm. uh, the submachine guns are a little too strong for mm. all ranges, <laughs> and the maps are so open that I saw how it it's like devoid almost of just shit to do. Um. Yeah, it it real it feels like it's super open, so that way you can enjoy you know uh, you can enjoy like the the new age evolution. Yeah, like the tornado coming through is always cool. The lightning storms, it it that all that's like really cool. The helicopters like cutting out when you're flying. Mm. Oh, that sounds yeah, it's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I don't fly helicopters; I'm terrible at it, but I've seen it. <laughs> um, or those people might also be bad. At helicopters. Yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> they just dip out, um, jump out. But yeah, no, uh, it, it's a sniper's paradise, uh, mm. and as someone who's not handy with a sniper rifle, mm -hmm. it it means I have a lot. My my case oh, is probably really? terrible. Yeah, uh. I have, like I have my qualms with it, but all in all, it's the same level of fun by myself that I had when like I was playing Titanfall two by myself. Gotcha. Okay, that's a fun game. Yeah, Titanfall two is yeah. a, and the lead director uh, of Respawn who developed Titanfall two is now the lead director of Dice for this battlefield. Oh wow! Yeah, they that's interesting. Mm -hmm. So, I'm excited. The, the, the I, I'm hoping for a couple more guns because it's a battlefield game. It can. I mean, with a, how everybody's like bitching about it, it can really only go up from here. I mean, uh, uh, and if you have like a good opinion of it, and it does go up from here, I mean, it's only better for you. Yeah, uh, a lot of stuff got fixed like day one, day two. Oh, really? uh, but I also don't have it on PC, and I hear PC has a ton of other issues. Gotcha. But I, I've had a, I've had a great time. You have a um, PlayStation. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I have on PlayStation. Uh, they have a, a battle royale mode that's really cool and interesting. Mm -hmm. um, you get dropped off with whatever kit that you start with and whatever character. You have to secure uh, like intel points 
and you you carry them with you and then you have to extract you have two chances to extract you can extract to fuck everyone who's there so you can uh. just kill people and then leave and not take anything or you can try to get it and like try to take out mm-hmm. other teams that have it and it it gives mm. you like play competitively but it's not just like kill everybody it's right. like oh you can also just there's be like, something get else out. to do yeah mm-hmm. that's pretty cool so no I've, I've had a great time uh with it i highly recommend it and then yeah i'm just going back through through that i was going back through horizon zero dawn for the horizon podcast getting ready for the new one mm, when does that come out february mm. trust me if you ever want to play horizon zero dawn i will give you like it's such a gorgeous game yeah <laughs> so good um was it one of the launch titles for the no, PS4? no uh three years ago four years ago maybe wow i have no concept of time <laughs> it's okay what about for you what did uh have you been playing anything fun new or interesting I've been playing the shit out of Mass Effect. I that came out this year. That. I recently restarted another, or not restarted, but started another playthrough of that, which makes number five since it's come out. <laughs> wait, wait. Because uh, I know you had started a new playthrough of the series. Did you just start another new playthrough of the series? Mm-hmm. Oh, are you doing like different build or just mm-hmm. because? Different builds, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, that's fun. And I'm really looking forward to us playing that on the channel, but we have to figure out how it would work. Um... I can figure out something, but yeah. I will. I would. I would gladly be like, "Are you taking me through Mass Effect?" God, so much fun. Um, because I have, like, I would still like to finish getting you through Dark at mm. some point. But if that if that took a seat for a little bit, and you wanted to do Mass Effect, I would totally do Mass Effect after we did. Um, we do actually have someone shout out to. Uh, oh, shout out to. Can't even remember. No, I can. He's been super active on our videos, uh, and he's a really, really chill, cool guy. Um, some dude with a keyboard. I couldn't remember if it was some guy with a keyboard or dude with a keyboard. Some dude with a keyboard. Because um, he was like, uh, he started like uh, I started getting like a lot of comments on our Army of Two video, Ooh. and he's like, he's like, he goes, wait, you are you are you gonna play all of them? I'm like, yeah, we're gonna play, we're gonna play all of them. It's a it's a local favorite. He goes, even if you don't do the third, I'm like, we're going to do the third one. The third one has its flaws, but it's not yeah. a bad game. Um, we'll get through it. And if I, it is bad, we'll just make fun of it. Oh, uh, the writing's bad. Uh, the writing and the... I like the the mechanics of um, two the most, because like one, it's, you know, you have your primary, your secondary, your special. Two is the only one I haven't played. If third one is the Devil's Cartel, yeah, yeah then I haven't played... What's the second one? Like the fortieth day, fortieth day, some shit like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, that one has a really cool uh, pickup mechanic, so you can pick up an enemy gun mm-hmm. and use it until it's out of ammo, and, just toss and then aside. switch it back to yours. Cool. Um, whereas Devil's Cartel, though, you could choose two weapons to use five, five, six, and it would or eat out of its own ammo. Sure. And it, yeah, but no. Um, so that was great. So you're doing new builds, different builds in uh, Mass Effect. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm so looking forward to the new one that's coming out, too. Did you hear us coming out finally? What? Splinter Cell! Really? They're rebooting it. They're remaking Ooh. the series because they want to make it more cohesive. And How excited for you? How excited are you for specifically a reboot of the series? Absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Um, I, I understand that, like, you might have to do something different with Sam Fisher. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't even care. I if- think they should. I mean... Because at this point, they've kind of done all they can with him, right? Because all he's doing now is like cameos and like yeah. other Tom Clancy games. Yeah, he's he's technically the one of the first. He's I think he's called one in Rainbow Six. He's like one of the first Rainbow operatives. I'm like that's terrible. But I don't like that not, idea. Yeah, it, those I, are like two separate worlds of Tom Clancy, isn't it? Yeah, it. There's the there's the there's the book world that we all like mm-hmm. I, that I grew up with, um, and We're, then there was the game. I've only played the Rainbow games, but I feel like Rainbow is more of like a part of the book series is it not or is is rainbow six the only book that talks about rainbow yeah rainbow six is the only oh book. really no, oh, actually, okay um rainbow six is mentioned in later books and if you i think it's an executive orders which is a tom clancy book mm. it's the one where jack ryan becomes president the what? first time oh my god yeah he's president twice oh my god he's currently the president i haven't i haven't kept up with it but it's amazing he becomes president because mm-hmm. he's vice president and the president gets assassinated mm. Uh, and one of his initiatives to help with terrorism is to create the sixth operative um, or the, the of the Rainbow Council, which is Rainbow Six. Oh, um, gotcha. Okay. And then later on, you learn it's like defunded. 
mm. and the games kind of spin off. But they use like Ding and uh, uh, John Clark mm-hmm. until Vegas. I think Vegas, they kind of like, you're the American branch of Rainbow Six. And I'm like, that doesn't really make sense. Isn't that? But at the same time, I'm like, well, they really, they literally couldn't be the fast strike force from Europe. And, and like, it, it would be end. weird that like this multinational terrorist hunting cell would be like oh god we have to get to las vegas yeah. <laughs> to stop this one incident yeah they'd never make it in time like swat would already be kicked indoors exactly yeah in la yeah <clears throat> um so yeah i'm i'm actually really excited uh because what's what's the news on that like is it like what is like another game or uh they're hiring mm. i sent them my resume did you really yeah <laughs> uh uh ubisoft toronto was handling it mm. uh and the director has said linear that's probably good. Focus on story. Also good. And uh, kind of more classic mechanics. So uh, if I had my bet, I would really like the way Blacklist worked. Where I like how Blacklist played. You can play it a little bit more uh, violently, I guess, would be the best like a shooter. Yeah. Or you can play it like the Ghost, Splinter which is Cell, traditional. Yeah. Or you can play it like Panther, which was... I wasn't there for the name, but I kind of fell in love with the name at the end, where it was like the lethal... The Leaf of Quiet. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Um, really excited for that. Uh, other than that, uh, have you found yourself... Because you're playing Mass Effect. Like, I've just been going through classic games again. Like, that's all I find myself doing right now is, like... Classic how? Like, um, I started replaying Horizon Zero Dawn on the PS5 mm-hmm. because it's gorgeous. Um, oh, it's on the PS5? It got the, the free... Uh, I went back through and I, I beat, like, all the games that kind of started to chug a little bit on mm-hmm. um on the PlayStation 4. Uh do you remember when we were playing Zone of the Enders, the Vic Viper fight where it's the Gradius jet yeah, uh-huh. and how I was just like watch the screen and the screen just starts to stutter? I don't remember it. I remember the fight, but I don't remember the stuttering. The the he was firing projectiles and the screen like it was literally like going like this because of all the a PS2 game? Yeah, it was. <laughs> so the remake for the PS3 did that. Uh PS5 none of that. Like it's gorgeous. I beat. Oh, it's it. on the PS Five. Oh, well, I just I just download it. Mm. I I bought it again for four dollars, and I was like, well, I want to play on the PS Five, and four I've bucks, yeah. beaten it probably about six times in the past three weeks. It's kind of short though, isn't it? I can, yeah, I've gotten it down to three and a half hours. Oh, nice. <laughs> um, so I've been playing that Horizon. I rebeat the Jedi Fallen Order game that came out. Mm. Um, and Stardew Valley sometimes sucks me in. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, that one's been a big one, and uh, I recently started restreaming like Yakuza, but I, I've been going through like indie games or, uh, honestly, since you and I started playing Army of Two, like I I keep on looking for games that are just gonna be like fun. Like, what would be a fun? Me too. I'm like I don't, I'm not super invested in a story right now. Mm-hmm. I'm just trying to have fun. That's why I've been playing a lot of first person shooters or like shooters in general because mm-hmm. those don't usually aren't story heavy. Um, yeah, I was playing something else that was first person asking. Like, oh, I'm playing Crisis still. I was, I, I, I redownloaded Crisis. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. The the first one, you're right, they're bullet sponges. Um, mm-hmm. Played through that. But yeah, no, I, I, I've i gotten that feel too. And then, um, I can, I can actually say this. So Mrs. Play got me a Switch for Christmas. Um, mm-hmm. because when we were going to go to Japan, uh, you were going to be very bored on a 14 hour flight and I don't sleep <laughs> on planes. You don't or you can't. I can't <laughs> just because I, I'm gripping that seat. Are you afraid so of planes? I mm. didn't you jump out of planes? Yes. <laughs> I have. Yeah. Get me the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, no, I uh, jumped out of them. I've done all that stuff, but like sitting in a tube flying through space mm. and time it just does not sit right with uh, you. No. Um, <laughs> so she got me a she got me a switch mm-hmm. uh, to handle that. and. Um, because I told Junior, he was like, "Hey, I've got Mario Kart. So if you and I just want to play Mario Kart, whatever, and chillax at night, um, I could play you like online. I could mm-hmm. just sit there and talk shit to you." <laughs> um, uh, and for her, I got her. Um, and I can say this because she just got out of the shower, so she's on the third floor. Um, I got her. We're gonna do a couples rock climbing class together in Oh Manassas, and she wants to learn how to scuba dive. So I have an intro to scuba diving to see nice. if it's something that she wants to continue. Uh, class cool. for her. She wants to go somewhere with the whale sharks. She does. I know she does. That was going to be my my offer to her. Was going to be like, hey, let's go back to Georgia. Let you snorkel with the last time. I was about to say, yeah. Now go swim with them. Uh, but we're going to Iceland, so. Still? 
Uh, we're going to Iceland. No, we, we switched. We're not going to Japan. Oh. Because of the Omicron variant. Uh huh. Iceland, far more remote. Not as many people. And there are a lot of hikes. So we're doing Iceland instead. That would be cool. Yeah. It's also a really like naturally beautiful country. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be cold as fuck though. Uh, we're you're going in January, right? September. Oh, why do I feel like you're going like really soon? We were going. No, we were going to like oh, Japan, Japan in like two months. Oh, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. originally I was gonna take some stuff to do with the podcast in Japan, but not going to Japan now. So. I think Iceland's cool. Iceland is very cool. Mm -hmm. um, they got volcanoes. They do. You can hike it. It's a little expensive, but we're going to try to do that. Mm. She wants why is it expensive? It's like $400 for like a toured hike, and we just want to hike it, but they don't have like a Shenandoah yourself. like we do. Yeah. So, which I understand. Like, you can, yeah. Um, but yeah, so that's what I've been, I've been doing that. And then uh, I've been looking into like a lot of, have, has indie, have you been like looking into indie games at all? No further than like the usuals that I play, like Enter the Gungeon okay. or the Binding of Isaac or shit like that. I haven't. No, there's I, a I redownload or I yeah I redownloaded Super Hot. I stopped playing after like fifteen minutes because it was boring. <laughs> but I remember when that game came out, it looked really cool. Uh huh, and it was super cool at the moment. And its time is over. I think it was I... like four games of the Super Hot. Yes. Games? That doesn't surprise me. Um, there's a game called like uh, Rockbreaker Galactic. You play dwarves. Oh yeah. Who go like uh, you you like burrow down into the to a planet to get like material, mm -hmm. but it's like kind of modern. So you have like a driller, an art, like a, a gun. It it just looks cool. But it was one of those games. Where I'm like, oh hey, you and I could you know just like fuck around. Yeah, yeah, not even like channel work. But I'm like, oh this would be a fun game to play, like Back for Blood or. Mm. Uh, but I don't think you're a fan of you're not a fan of the zombie games. I played back for blood like i think like it was like a week after it came out mm -hmm. um and i was like this is just left for dead yeah but again and i wasn't a huge fan of left for dead when it first came out i played it but i'm so zombied out yeah that shit should have stayed in like 2008 <laughs> where it's where, where it, it was from. good we remembered yeah. it mm -hmm. i get that um but yeah after after you and i started like cracking into army of two like it it is a challenge to not sit here and be like, I'm just going to just play with Army 2. Oh, cause, really? Because it would give me more money and it wouldn't be fair. So, Why don't you play the other ones? Because it would give me more money when we started. Oh. I yeah, I'd have to like point. cancel it. And I, I haven't bought them yet. But so I was. But yeah, it's been one of those things where ever since that you and I started playing games like that, where it's like, I've gone back to and played like Halo two or three times again. Oh, oh my God. I did too. I was. You know, like the whole cloud gaming thing? Yeah. I've been taking advantage of that like crazy. So I played Halo Infinite. Okay. I beat it. It's pretty cool. I've heard it's fantastic. It was pretty I have fun. Not seen anything it was it. pretty fucking fun. Um, and then I down I played through the cloud cloud gaming shit, the Master Chief Collection. Okay. And then I I beat ODST because that's my, or not ODST Reach because that's my favorite Halo game. That's a great. That's a great favorite Halo game. Um. And then I sort of just like dip my toes in the other one. Like I played like the first few missions of two. I played. Uh, by the way, don't mean to dunk on your favorite game, ODST, but I do not like how that game looks. Shit looks so potato. I don't. I was gonna. That's why it was gonna be like. I was gonna be like, hey, Reach. We were gonna do separate because I like the motif of it being like your noble six. Mm -hmm. The other Halo games are are kind of have like a fun gimmicky way to do hey how another master chief got there like right. in the first one the two pods are there if we played on the classic look mm -hmm. when when you get to a cutscene you would just see a master chief body laying there because <laughs> one of us has to die um and like i like the fact that noble six is no this is you're, you're the it's like you're no longer the lone wolf mm -hmm. of that. yeah they, they do say that i forgot about that they're like no that lone wolf shit you're part of a team now yeah, yeah. um and odst Yes, it looks very potato. I will, <laughs> I will, I will freely give you. Uh, it did not age. I mean, it looked good for the time. I'm mm -hmm. sure, yeah. But it didn't age as it. Like, if you look at the love that was given to like one and two, like mm, you played two three. on the new one, on the the, the like the up the updated red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. my god! Like I was going, I was looking at the cutscenes, fucking day and night. Yeah. Oh my god! Like there are angles when you like. It's like the original shit, and then you go like to like the updated, and it's like, oh my god, what Smooth is this movie I'm watching? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it, it's very, very good. Uh, yeah, I I've seen a little bit of the new Halo Infinite. Um, it's like 
I think it's 60 bucks. Oh, I also played five. That was not a good game. Did you play four? I played four, I think, when it came out. A friend let me borrow it. I was in high school when it came out. I did not hate four. I like the guns in four the most. I don't like the Forerunner guns. I like the mecha- I like them mechanically. I like like it's like reload the shotgun, no. boop, 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 and yeah. the whole shotgun explodes. You put the, you go like this, and the shotgun. No, that, that will never not be cool. Like it's, <laughs> it's dumb, it's extra, but it's cool. but it's cool. Yeah, I like the weapon designs in the Halo games, especially like the UNSC weapons. I I like that in so the future cool. all weapons are gonna be bullpup. Like the M sixteen just I mean ceases to exist. <laughs> um, no, I I'm glad that you dip your toes in uh, Halo ODST like. Like I said, I think iconically the music for that. Oh, it's really good. It's the best music for yeah. us. Uh, I like Halo 3's music a lot. Halo 3 is like the music. menu music. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Yeah. Um, I hate to play that again. That would be. Oh my god, I'm so looking forward so to playing it, Halo like, 3. You should just shoot me a fucking the message. That way we can just I'll cause I'll hop on and just play like it, uh, that way when we actually recorded it, it wouldn't. <sighs> you know be, what? I got a new headset too because my other one broke. I, I got like a real headset. I need to. I need to get a headset. I was just going to say to use Discord. Oh, yeah. That works. You have what that, happened to your headset? Uh, I only have the one for the PS5. It's not cross. I can't. Okay, what happened to the other one? Uh, I tried to get stuff to fix it earlier this year. Oh, yeah. Didn't you break it? And it's not modular. The new ones are all completely modular. Mm. And I'm not spending like $500 on the headset. for. Yeah, I think I've spent... I wasn't going to spend... I, 50 bucks is what I bought mine for. They were highly rated, though. <laughs> that is... Yeah. That's that sits there pretty much until like you get a PlayStation Five and we're playing PlayStation together. Oh Jesus! <laughs> or, Are they good though? Huh? Are they good oh, though? Yeah. yeah, yeah. But like the one of the biggest draws to a, a headset like that was, you know, trying to be quiet when Nicole was trying to miss trying to sleep. Yeah, they're too good. Yeah. Yeah, but now I'm, we're in the basement. We're talking like normal, mm-hmm. normal human beings talk. Yeah. Oh man, hey, uh, going back and I think. Uh, especially like playing classic. I, I've gone back and I'm, I'm going to call them classics now. I think Halo is Halo is definitely a classic now. Yeah. Halo One is considered retro. I know. It's over 15 years old. Hmm. Uh, I are? think. I think didn't Halo One come out like 2001, 2003? I kind of feel like it came out in 2000. Oh, that still proves. Well, yeah. Point. Okay. Because yeah. <laughs> Halo Three came out. When I was in high school. It came out when I was in elementary school, and that, or excuse me, middle school, and that shit. Like half the student body wasn't at school the day it came out because they were at home playing Halo. Uh, I was going to ask you, is that how it was when people, when Halo Two came out? Because I know that one was like super popular. Uh, Halo Two, no, because uh, where like I was like video games were you were still a nerd if you played it. Halo, well, yeah, I was too, but yeah, yeah, but like Halo Three was it's acceptable to like this game, mm. like especially like where the I'm the cool from. kids liked Halo. Yeah, yeah. the cool kids <laughs> would like Halo. Um, but you talk about anything else you heard. Yeah. The, yeah. Uh, the the game that I remember was uh, I remember classes getting canceled for Skyrim. Really? I was in college. Holy shit! I, I remember in... professors like getting an email. I got I got a text message from one of my professors like, "Hey, I know that you were shitting on it, but I'm literally at home playing Skyrim. It's great. I'm not coming to class today." Oh my god! And he didn't send me an email. I drove to class. Just for him to be like, you're hating on my this game that I like and this series, and I'm like, I just don't like it. I don't think it's that good. And oh, he made me drive like 45 minutes to class, and I drove 45 minutes home to crash. <laughs> he was a great professor. He was a really smart guy. I don't remember there being so much of like a a hubbub for when Skyrim came out. Mrs. Play, uh, she was in a because I, I was going to community college uh, at that time for my for computer science, mm-hmm. so like smaller. She went to a state university and was in one of her like microbiology classes and like the quintessential stadium of students, right? Mm-hmm. She's gone. Holy shit. It's gone. And she's like, yep. And the professor was like, well, I guess we're not doing class today. And I was like, okay, call it. Everyone left. Cool. You should name your first kid Dovahkiin. Didn't to get somebody free... do that? Yeah. Yeah, to get the game for free or some shit like that. Oh my god. Oh, shit. They get the next Skyrim for free. Yeah, right. Which I wonder if that was actually Elder Scrolls Online. <laughs> I did not like that game. Have you ever played it? No, I haven't. Ugh. It's not fun. <laughs> Are, have you ever played like an MMO? No. I don't know. 
that's so not my scene. Okay. I played World of Warcraft for like three days. I was like, this sucks. <laughs> I got back into it when I just started dating Mrs. Play. And mm. she... That's a bad time to get into World of Warcraft. I, I got, I'd gotten back into it. Burning Crusade had just come out. And she got upset with me. I couldn't figure out why. And I was like, I was like, why are you so mad at me? She's like, you've talked to me for a total of 20 minutes in the past 48 hours. I was like, it's only been like four or five hours. What are you, why are you being like this? Literally checked my phone to like see that I missed work. Oh my and just God. like hour. And I uninstalled the game immediately. And I was like, yeah, no, I had to like throw it out. So I was like, oh, I can't do this. Holy shit. Yeah. You have one of those stories. Missed work for fucking. For World of Warcraft. Wow. For my human mage. Yeah. Dang. That sucks. Uh, my bosses. My boss thought it was funny because someone else called him and was like, hey, we got to work this. Up? Yeah. Oh, okay. Was, All right. Yeah. Uh, he, was, he was far nicer than he had any right to be. Mm-hmm. I had fired my ass. Because I had no call, no show. It was bad. Was it your first no call, no show, though? Yeah. Oh, this is no, the no. first time I'd actually, like, legitimately missed work. Mm. Ever. Like, career ever yeah, wise. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, other than that, like, Video Game Awards, watch that. Um, I I watch it, and because of all the industry stuff I follow, mm-hmm. I'm very cynical now watching it. I was like, oh, <laughs> we'll get, we'll probably get some pretty cool trailers or things like that. And we did. We're getting Alan Wake two finally. Um, oh yeah, you didn't like the first one, right? I never played it. <laughs> oh, for some other reason, I thought you did and thought it was good. No, I've really? Never it, yeah, because you don't like horror games. No, but even still, that just that one that one in particular i'm like this looks boring as fuck to me oh it's like stephen king i know that, okay. does, that doesn't really appeal to me okay yeah. uh mrs Plight, i think we're gonna do it next year for like to get ready for the second Spooky one time. Yeah. and then uh doing like control or something like that have you played that i have not i heard played a little things. bit of it i just it wasn't my cup of tea okay i could see why people liked it i just couldn't get into it i assuming it's like death stranding for kojima it's kind of weird yeah do you see kojima's putting out a movie no. With Guillermo del Toro. Awesome. Nightmare Street, I think is what it's called. Fuck yeah. Yeah, it's a movie. Right. It, it's, it's, it's a Hollywood movie. <laughs> nice. So I'm. that's coming out, I think, this spring. I wonder if he's shifting to play the movies. He said he, he's mean, always said he wants to do movies, I think. Metal Gear. Those are <laughs> interactive movies, movies, as far yeah. as I'm concerned, yeah. I I know 4 was especially. Oh, God, yeah. 3, Great I felt. Great cutscenes, though. Yeah, I loved the ones in 3. Oh, yeah, me too. Um, that was so much fun. And then the ones in Rising were also a ton of fun. Mm-hmm. God, I, when we played Rising, like I that that game like reinvigorated like the hack and slash. It's so me. fun, isn't it? It's such a great game. It's I'll, so pretty. I'll pick it up every couple of years. It is, does look good. Yeah, that was one of the things that initially appealed to me when I first saw it. Like this looks really fucking good. The yeah, uh, that that's a series that I wish we'd get more in Metal Gear. And I yeah, yeah. and it's I just, don't think we will. It's an investment. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Like, I want to play four so bad, but at the end of the game, there is like a one hour long cutscene that I will just not sit through. I will not. If we did, because you were like on the channel, we should go through four. And I was like, I've heard things. Now you're like, I wouldn't sit through it. I'm like, so I'd be sitting here. You'd be like, I'm going to go for a walk. Yeah, exactly. I'll be sitting here by myself watching this movie. Yeah. It's like, all right. I think we could do it if we just skipped all the cutscenes. Yeah, but then we'd miss like half of it. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, like I, I would say, like if we weren't go, if we we're doing it for the lulls, yeah. Also, like, that's too much of like a wrap up of a game for there to be missing context. And that's why I was like, I thought three was a really fun one to start with. Yeah, because the character I won, I think three, I know that it rehashes some of the same character types for mm-hmm. the most part, but uh, the end is great. Mm-hmm. Uh, the fear is absolutely all cool yeah yeah all, all of them feel really good uh revolver ocelot is inappropriately Classic. dumb <laughs> mm-hmm. you guys couldn't see me pantomime the 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 the, the, the you're pretty good yeah i don't know i don't know what that that thing is <clears throat> but yeah uh but definitely delving back into games i'm like I remember having a ton of fun with this game. Mm. Like I, I bought back for blood because I friend wanted to play it. Oh, you bought it? I, I bought it and I huh. downloaded it for free on both consoles. Mm. And you're, you're right. It's it, it's a it's an okay shooter. It's modern Left 4 Dead. Yeah. yeah. 
Um, but yeah, I, I like anymore. I'm like, oh, what's it? Like, oh, what, you have a fun, like, really cool, like, co op mechanic, like, just anything mm-hmm. like that. I've been looking uh, really hard into that. And then, yeah. Did you play Cyberpunk? I did not. I've been wanting to. I want to as well. I'd probably get it for the PS5. I would too. I'm going to wait till I get a PS5. Um, yeah, it'd probably be one of those things where I'm just like, let me, if it goes on sale, pick it up. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've heard now it's much, much better. I have too, yeah. Uh-huh. That's also why I wanted. I wanted to wait for it to get all patched up and good, and then I wanted to wait for the PS5 so it could look good. Um, I think if I do anything, I might pick up the Witcher games, because uh, mm. Mrs. Play and I have watched The Witcher. I love those games really? so much in theory. Okay. I played a little bit of The Witcher 3 mm-hmm. and got my ass fucking destroyed by the first monster you encounter it's like a griffin or some shit yeah i got trashed by it like 10 times in a row i just can't wrap my head around the combat and it sucks because that kind of fantasy is like my ideal favorite kind of fantasy like super like same thing with like dark souls where it was like mm-hmm. do you like do you like berserk dark fantasy yeah exactly. yeah okay yeah. here let's play let's 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 play berserk uh, by the way you have to fight guts the second season of The Witcher came out, right? Yeah. How is it? Fantastic. I've heard bad things about it. Um, pacing was good. Uh, every character gets development. There's a beautiful bromance that uh, blossoms <laughs> between uh, Geralt and uh, I actually don't want to spoil because it, it would it would spoil part of the story. Oh, okay. so no. Um, I don't. I I watched like half the first season, loved what I saw, and just fell off of it. Um. Do you so you you and your Mrs. Play? Mm-hmm. So we're gonna we're gonna Mrs. Play N and Mrs. Play C here. Mm-hmm. Uh do you guys like? So I don't watch a lot of TV. Mm-hmm. I don't either. Yeah, but we typically have at least two to three shows that we can mm-hmm. watch together. So for us, like we we binge The Witcher this week, mm-hmm. uh, eight episodes. So one or two a night. And that was yeah. it. Um, and now we're doing the same thing with Demon Slayer because Demon Slayer just came back out. Do you guys do something similar to that where it's like we used to do it more before we got like the switch and shit like that. Um, Like I remember when Stranger Things came out the Mm -hmm. first season, we stayed up all night and watched the whole season. Oh, that sounds really cute. It was fun. We had Chinese food and made a whole thing of it. Um, But now we just sort of just watch whatever looks good to us. And then if we don't like it, we're like, this sucks. Let's change it. Or let's go do something. We haven't really been watching a lot of TV, is what it is. Mm. I I think like we like most Americans, the uh, my miss by I. For us, it's always like it's winter, so it's mm. cold outside, mm-hmm. and it's like okay, we went to the gym, we did all this stuff. What are we gonna do? Guess we'll watch uh, TV. Yeah, we'll watch. <laughs> um, we'll watch that, which is why like I haven't been streaming as much because yeah. I'm just like oh, Mrs. Play and I like twisting in my shirt and it's riding weird Uh uh-huh and i'm like oh um which is why i haven't like streamed as much because we're just watching spending time with yeah your lady it's become more and more important it has yeah Yeah. um so old games you've played through mass effect you played through halos do you have do you have anything like really fun or exciting happen you got a dog this year Kind of. He's he's been with us for a year. Okay. On the fifteenth, we got we've had him for a year. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, because you guys bought a, a house now two years ago. Yes, two years ago. So I I'm gonna ask you this because you'd be one of the only people I think that's gonna be like this similar mindset. Do hmm. you panic that you just forgot to pay your mortgage? <laughs> like, there are periods when we're like, we don't. We're always like aware of our mortgage yes but we're like oh shit we just spent 300 bucks on something we should probably cool it because we only have like a thousand in our uh, savings account our mortgage is 14 our yeah for like our mortgage it'll be i'll have just paid it Mm -hmm. i'll go upstairs like i'll sit here sit at the computer pay my mortgage like did i pay the mortgage i'll go upstairs (laughs) back down like fuck did i pay the mortgage (laughs) but i like saved the receipt so that i'm like Mm -hmm. okay yeah So I didn't know if you ever had like never missed a rent payment was always really good with mm-hmm. that. Never worried about it. Mortgage. 
there's more in the line to fuck up. That's what, you I, know? That's what I said to Mrs. Play, but she's like, she's like, yeah, I remember. I'm like, all right, whatever. Um, <laughs> well, yeah. Um, yeah. Do you have anything that you're looking forward to coming out in the next? <sighs> Probably, but I can't think. Drag my memory. What's coming out? Uh, what are we looking on? Switch or? Mm, cross platforms. Okay. Sometimes I'm excited about games that I can't even play, like some PC games. I'll be like, oh, that looks cool. There's a, let's see, Breath of the Wild 2. Oh, yeah, of course. I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to Advanced Wars 1 and 2 Reboot Camp. I thought that already came out. Uh, it says 2022 right here. Hmm. Ooh, I'm excited for Bayonetta 3. Bayos. Oh, I could actually play all the Bayos. Mm -hmm. I'm excited for the new Kirby game that's coming out, too. Oh, what's the new one? It's kind of open worldish, or not? Maybe it's yes. The yeah, yeah. World mm -hmm. Kirby. Um, there's a Elden Ring. Looks like it'll be good. Um, I just like its aesthetic. So that's an example of a game that I probably won't ever play, but I, like, I think it would be cool. There's a there's a new. 2D game that's coming out for uh, the the Switch mm -hmm. that I'm super excited about, and it looks like um, uh, Dead Cells like kind of okay. aesthetic, mm -hmm. but it's like got a Mega Man feel to it. So you beat levels; it's like a Dark Souls mm -hmm. kind of fight, and then you beat it, you get a little power up, and you have to keep Ooh, going through the rest of it. That's pretty cool. Um, that looks really really good, and I can't think of what it's. <laughs> <That sucks. laughs> what it's called is there a release date for breath of the wild 2 no i just i, I think it's so. like we, we know it's coming yeah um bayo 3 looks great mm -hmm. um metroid dread oh, the metroid dread already came Ooh, out yeah that came out that was fun did I you beat it no i haven't i need to um i played it like super hard for like three weeks and then i just dropped it Oh, yeah, poke, the other Pokemon game. Not the remake of Diamond and Pearl, but the... Arceus or whatever it is. one, yeah. Where's it? What's it supposed to be? Uh, It's like some shit that takes place in the past. I don't know. I've Truthfully, I've been staying away from it. Not on purpose. It's just how it's mm. been coming out. Um, Shin Megami Tensei Five just came out. Monster is Hunter Prince, Rise. Is that Persona? Yeah, it's it's by the same company. Okay, I think it's even in the same like universe. Persona now. adjacent. Okay. Yeah. Um, P five Strikers that already came out. How much do you think they're gonna milk Persona Five? Um, I don't honestly think that it was like milked so super like a lot in the as as it was. Hmm. Um, I just feel like I've been hearing about it for a long time now, like a couple of years. Well, uh, Sony just started releasing their games on PC. Oh, really? Yeah, they totally tapped into that market. Hmm. They put out... Uh, like on Steam or like through like, their own thing? Stream, Steam. Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn's on PC. Uh, Death Stranding's uh, on PC. Oh, yeah, I knew all that. Okay. Uh, Last of Us 2 is on PC. So Yeah, I did know all that. That was a while ago then, mm -hmm. yeah. But it, it makes complete sense. Like, you have these amazing games, mm -hmm. and it's like they're, it's, you're still your first-party studios if you have first-party studios where it's like, Hey, for those of you who have our consoles and those for you now don't, why not? Hmm. So it's pretty cool. Does that mean Sony is trying to get into like the crossplay thing, or, or have uh, they already gotten into that? They're into the crossplay. Okay. It's just hit or miss, sadly. Well, that's how I hear it as with every console that it has. Like I hear like all the bad shit that's happening in Call of Duty, like all of these people playing with mouse and keyboard. Yeah, um, hackers yeah. stuff like that. It, it, and that's always going to be the thing that you run into. And it's not that it can't be done on console. It's just more of a, a hassle to do it on console. Mm -hmm. um, oh, they announced finally Space Marine 2. Uh, Space Marine's a Warhammer game. Came uh, out on PS3. Gotcha. Uh, it's a really good, like, heavy hack and slash. But mm -hmm. hack and slash third person shooter-esque feel. Gotcha. Uh, and they finally just announced that they're doing a sequel to it. Hmm. I uh, have no knowledge of Warhammer in the slightest. <clears throat> um... <laughs> Humans are good. Xenos are bad. Uh, Isn't like w weirdly religious too. Oh, all hail yeah. the holy emperor! Oh, oh it's, Jesus! <laughs> uh, I used to read the books. I played tabletop. Oh, books? 
Oh yeah, the books are. I knew there's like hella expansive lore with it, but very dark, very gritty. Hmm. Uh, one of my favorite books. It's like called like Twenty Eight Hours or something like that. The Imperial Guard, which are their their foot soldiers, mm-hmm. their life expectancy is like, or it's thirty six hours. It's thirty six and a half hours of the title of the book, but their life expectancy is like thirty two hours or something like that from hitting the planet. Uh huh. And this person makes it to like thirty six and a half hours. So they're like and ancient at this story. point, yeah. And then like it's like I did it, I got here, and immediately and it just drops, like, yeah. You and it's like he, everybody, he lives so long, and so it's mm-hmm. the, his entire thing. Um, there are other people that, but that's like their class when you play the tabletop is just throw waves. cannon fodder, yeah. yeah. Um, and it's like throw waves, and then you have a couple of big hitters, but mm. whereas when you play as the the space marines they everyone hits big but you have to you have to worry about it but it, yeah it's a lot of a lot of fun i always really enjoyed it um i was never i'm not good at rts's me neither <laughs> but i was good at this and it was a cool way to like go mm. through and play the rts and then you can unlock like when you can play it online you get oh here's the paint skin so if i wanted to be uh the the angels the blood angels which mm-hmm. is my favorite uh you can unlock the blood angel skin and i was like oh okay this is a cool way That's to just cool yeah. But yeah, that got announced, and then yeah, that's it. Like I'm, I'm really excited to to like have a Switch. Like I'm, I've got, mm-hmm. I've got games that I'm like looking forward to play. It's and... a fun little console, and you just want to pick it up. Yeah, are um, you getting like the real Switch or like the light? Oh, I got the real Switch. Mm-hmm. We were gonna get the OLED, but they're like, hey, you're not getting much more for the. You're price. really not. Yeah, so I think I got the V2. It's like the same processing power and everything. I got the I got the V2, so the upgraded mm-hmm. from the first one, and we still have like that Gen one. One. I'm looking forward to playing Damon X Machina, and oh, yeah. there's another mecha game on it. And then I got like Animal Crossing because congratulations everyone on Facebook. I got Animal Crossing. It's good. I'll go to your goddamn. It's violence. good. It's the game is totally worth it. I I, I know it is, mm-hmm. but it's like, hey, would you just go out and buy? If I bought you a Switch, you play Animal Crossing with me? I'm like, dude, like, no, I'll, I'll How get. How about you Switch. shut the fuck up? Yeah. I'll get a Switch. But you don't do Switch stuff on your channel. Yeah, I don't have a Switch. We don't have, Nick, yeah. Nick have to, he's got to fight his wife if she wants to play the Switch. Like, that's not that's fair what to she's do, That's what she's doing at home. She's playing Animal Crossing, actually. But yeah, it's... it's. I, I know it's a great game. I'm mm-hmm. just... Tired of people telling you to play it. Oh, my God. And I have it for the 3DS, too. Mm-hmm. And I, the, my problem is, like, you don't play it every day. I know. It's hard to get back into it once you stop. Yeah, and then people like leave. They're like, "We thought you were dead. It's been like uh uh-huh. it's, it's been it's, three years." Yeah, yeah. I'm like I'm guilt tripping you. It's like you might as well just wipe it and start over. Uh huh. And I know that the new one is very big on, hey, you got to make sure you're here. You got to talk to people. Kinda, like, yeah. Every day, and I'm yeah. like, that part terrifies me. I might go back in time, forward in time. Oh, you can. I mean, you can oh, you've changed the console. Fuck date. with it, yeah. <laughs> You know what actually I'm really excited about? Hmm. Stick one of the things on my mouth. Huh? Try to put one of the chips in my mouth because they're coated to taste bad. Oh, oh, <laughs> do you remember oh, that yeah, 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 challenge? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. want to do that. They don't like, taste good. Yeah, I know they're yeah. not supposed to because they're it, it's, it's some bitter and yeah, yeah. So little kids and dogs don't eat them. Uh, I, I was talking to somebody about it. It's like you know we put this in here so people wouldn't eat it. Then we told everyone on the internet like, like I'm gonna everyone lick it. Yeah, it's like when t- it's like with a nine volt battery. Oh. We when I was in uh, basic, you wear your dog tags, mm-hmm. and if you had nine volts, you put it right here, so you get these wicked burns from people like wow. and putting it on you. Uh, oh, so bad. I had blisters on my neck from it once. Oh my god! Yeah. Um, you got your hair cut. I did not get my hair. You cut. did not. No. Okay, I've grown out my hair. That's the only like really mm-hmm. big exciting thing that I have. Where it's like it sits in my face. I wake up in the morning and I start to have the trunks part. Uh huh. And Mrs. Plays like no. No, I'm telling you, that's what I want to do. I want this to sit, and then I want to be able to pull this back in a ponytail low down here. Mm-hmm. And just do a trunks, and Mrs. Play is like, no. <laughs> like, but he's so cool. Not anymore. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this time has come and gone. <sighs> Bring it back, man. Bring it back. Did you watch the new Spider-Man movie? I have not. Have you? No, I have. I. You, you knew the answer to that question as soon as you asked. <laughs> You brought it up, so I assumed that yeah. you maybe... No, I just kind of figured that you would have at least had, like, I've, looked into it a little bit or something. I've heard great things about it. I will go see it. Um, they dropped the Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse 2 trailer, mm. uh, like, two weeks ago. Mm-hmm. I saw that, and I instantly didn't care. <laughs> I oh, like, really? Yeah. I, 
I will I will come out and say this that Spider Man into the Spider Verse is the best Marvel movie. It's the best Spider Man movie, and the reason I can prove that is because they told us the same origin story five times in one movie, and we all applauded and said, "Hey, you know what? This is great." Hmm. Because every character goes through the origin story. It's like, oh, it was like I used I to do this. I got bit by a spider. Yes. I also got bit by a spider. spider. Guys, you'll never guess what. I also got bit by a spider. Actually, so it's funny you say that. John Mulaney goes, I actually got bit by a radioactive pig. I was just a normal spider. <laughs> and it reverses it. But it, And it's like, oh, for me, it was my Uncle Ben. For me, it was my Uncle this. For me, it was my like aunt this. For me, it was my dad. For me, it was my best friend. And it's like, but they all give you. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, Miles Morales is. It, it is his origin story, so he's going through it. Is that why there was like all like the Miles Morales shit after that movie came out? Yeah, like the game then came out, and then um, I think the the game. Well, Spider Man did that because they just announced Spider Man two. Uh, oh, the the yeah, and it, it's going to feature more Miles. Mm. Um, this is play. I streamed the Miles Morales game, and it was it was it was still great. Yeah. Um, they did. Was it, it better than the other one? The other Spider Man game? Or? Um, it was. It wasn't that it, I don't even want to say it was like it was better. It was like it's like two months after the first game ends. Oh, and Spider Man Peter Parker's like, hey, I got to go over to uh, you know MJ is doing a story in Europe, so I'm gonna go to Europe. So mm-hmm. you're on your own. So it's gonna be Spider Man in Europe. <laughs> well, no, he he's not in it at all. Like he's mm-hmm. in it for the first part, and so you're mm-hmm. Miles Morales. And you already have like the web swinging. It's not as good. It's not as pretty, but like you, you're already doing the thing. So mm-hmm. by the end of it, you're like. Oh, this feels good. Then they showed off the new trailer where they're working in tandem, and it's the two Spider Man, um, mm. which I'm betting means Peter Parker's going to die because that's typically what happens, and that's how Miles Morales becomes the one and only Spider Man. Oh, in like canon, you mean? Yeah, in, gotcha. in the game canon. Um, yeah, mm. it looks it looks immaculate, and no, great great game. Mm. Uh, and they just announced uh, Insomniac who did that is doing a Wolverine game. Oh my god, it's like the really violent one. They haven't shown anything on it. All all you see is him sitting at a bar and you, you see the you, you watch the hand thing and then you watch them come out and there's a little bit of blood and then it goes away. So I'm they're mm. probably gonna go rated T because What was I thought I saw like some trailer of like a Wolverine game where it was like super fucking brutal. I haven't there there were some old ones, like the Project X games were, were pretty hmm. brutal. Um, I don't know. I just feel like Wolverine kind of really fits that sort of Oh yeah, he, yeah. He he does deserve like the the violent game, mm-hmm. um, and I think they kind of did that with Deadpool, but when? like m- mass marketing. If you want more people to be able to buy it, you make it rated T. Exactly. Yeah. They'd get the one fuck in there, and that would all be on there. Yeah, so, yeah. Um. Yep, she's gonna be your best okay. friend. She's gonna try to exist in that. That's okay. She's got fresh butt shave, so. Oh, does she? Yeah. Oh, Prince actually went to the groomers today too. How'd it go for him? He does not like it here. Oh, she doesn't <laughs> like it either. Do you just take it to PetSmart? Or? Nope, I go right in that bathroom over there. Oh, you do it yourself. I tuck her head beneath my armpit just, and I lift that tail and, and, yeah. <laughs> and she is not happy. Um not happy. Are there were there any like surprises for you this year of anything that happened that you're like, hey, this was cool or anything like that? Not really. A lot of the games I was looking forward to. There were like three big games that I was looking forward to this year. Mass Effect. Dread. Dread and the Pokemon remake. Mm -hmm. Two of those games I've already played. So I knew what I was getting into. And then Dread hasn't really hit me with anything that I wasn't going to expect. Hmm. So what about you? Have you seen the endings to that yet? Dread? Yeah. No, I've been trying to avoid spoilers for the ending. Yeah, I was like. I would do a spoiler cast view because it, it's gorgeous. Um, okay. For me, it was it was getting back in like playing Crisis because I didn't play growing mm. up. Uh, so Crisis One, playing that it, the the second and third one are much better. Yes. Um, three is fun. Three is like outright fun. It is yeah. okay because the first one everyone's a bullet sponge, <sighs> and I'm like, what what are you all wearing? Mm-hmm. Um, and then it gives you the scar, and mm-hmm. it's like this should be your weapon, but. It doesn't like give you enough ammo. I know. It's like here's the weapon that you start with. Yes. Here's an AK that you'll need for the rest of the game. <laughs> and, and then it's like, okay, get the sniper rifle, get this. Um. So I, I but honestly, like I, I've been really, really enjoying that. Crisis is fun. Um. And I, I've replayed it because I, I, they kind of got me back into trophy hunting. Really? Because it, there's no online. 
So it's just like play this, find this stupid thing, mm-hmm. collect this, and, and you're good. Um, do this little challenge, and that's been fun mm-hmm. to do. Um, for instance, replaying Horizon, I when Mrs. Played, I did the first time. I didn't complete all the. They have these hunting ground challenges. Gotcha. Um, and it serves a point because you go to the hunter's lodge and it's like hunt bigger machines and we give you notoriety and mm. you get really good weapons. Gotcha. Um, but you have to get a certain like point in the game to get that. And yeah, so I actually went through and did all of those, which were some of them are stupid hard. Yeah. Um, and I, I went through with all those and you get a trophy, but you also get a payout. Mm. Um, so that's been like I, when it when it doesn't have like an online I've been really, really yeah. excited. To go it's that. because you don't have to worry about those stupid fucking online mm-hmm. um, achievements slash trophies. Yeah. Uh, and some of them are just like, you'll. I think it's my big issue with like Killzone 3 mm-hmm. and Killzone 2. They put out a, a DLC for like remakes of classic maps from the first game. Mm. And they put out some really dumb trophies or like trophies <laughs> for it. And so I had everything completed. But it'll never say completed because they close the servers. Ah, uh, yeah. And but yeah, game's not having that. Like I'm trying to platinum, uh, Zone of the Enders just because. Mm. I I love that game mm-hmm. so much. I'm gonna put the time into it. Might as well. Um, I think the biggest surprise for me was like uh, I started reading Vagabond. Oh yeah. I'm so. on book three right now. I actually got book four as a Secret Santa gift from work. Oh nice. Yeah. That's pretty cool. So uh, there are only twelve. 12 books of the, the bigger volume. Oh, like the Omnibus. So, yeah. That's been really, really fun to... I really fell in back in love with like, oh, I'm going to read a good story. Mm-hmm. And that's been most God, of my years. I've been trying like to get back into reading this year. That's another one of my um, resolutions for next year is to start reading again. I For me, it's just been... I, I went through the year where I read like 50 books a year. And you hated it. And, and uh, by the end of it, I just didn't care. Because you were reading forcing it. yourself to read it, yeah. But now I'm just like, oh, yeah, I'm, if I find a comic I like, I'm going to read this mm-hmm. comic. If I like this, I'm going to read this. And that's been what I do. Yeah. Um, I like how there's going to be like a reflection podcast. I'm really excited for this thing. Look yeah. This. This is... I mean, it's we're looking back at the prior year and we're looking forward to like the next year. Yeah. Merry Christmas. You guys got this mm-hmm. one. Yeah. It, it is going to be December 25th when this comes out. It's Christmas Eve Eve today. Yeah. I'm working... All day tomorrow, so that way people can hopefully I'm, have I'm more. working tomorrow too. I'm off, are you off on Christmas, huh? Yeah, I'm that's good. Christmas. When uh, are you working tomorrow? Mm-hmm. And you're here. When do you go in? Nine p.m. tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Okay, sorry. It, it confuses me too. I'm like, oh shit, I work tomorrow. Oh right, at nine, nine at night. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, that that all not makes sense. Uh, yeah. Um, Dread might be one of those games I end up picking up too, just because. You might as well. Um, I got a few, like, I got, like, three or four games. That oh, and into. there is, like, the whole, like, Super Nintendo, like, like when you have uh, Nintendo Online, mm-hmm. they give you, like, the NES and, like, Super Nintendo games. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And then there's this N64 games that are coming out, but you have to pay, like, $60 extra a year for that shit. I just want Fuck Beautiful that. Joe. <laughs> I now have a console where they should give me a remake Get a of Beautiful GameCube. Joe. I then have to find Beautiful Joe. Is it hard to find? Yeah, it's a great game. Oh, is it? It's it's it's, uh, it's, it's, oh, gotcha. it's Clover. It's early Platinum. So it's Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh. Platinum made Beautiful Joe, and that's like it's one of those things mm. where that when I learned that, it, it really taught me with like, oh, I love those games because they felt so good. Yeah. They, they were corny and cheesy, but they felt oh, good yeah, to play. Of course, yeah. And then I play a <clears> platinum <throat> game and I'm like It's corny and cheesy. Oh, but it but feels it's fantastic a blast to play, to play yeah. yeah. Like Bayonetta, like I'd love to go through Bayonetta. Like Rising, yeah. Rising, yeah. Um, controls are a little weird, but it's not. Mm. It's like if you played it from the beginning, instead of trying to come in on Monsoon, uh, it'd have been a yeah. much more fun experience. Gotcha, yeah. Fuck Monsoon. For real. God man. damn. But yeah, um, yeah, that's all I have. That's all I got, too. All right. <laughs> well, winners, uh, if you guys enjoyed this, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh yeah, this is our happy holidays. Mm-hmm. This is your bonus podcast for it's your Christmas bonus. <laughs> your Christmas bonus here from Wrong Button Studios. Remember all weird out- remember you're all weird out there and keep it real winners. Keep it keep it real. <laughs> you're all winners out there, keep it weird, guys.